Punish and I'm losing a lot of hair because of jobskillshare.org. Is there anything I can do? <laughs> All right, guys. So I came across this uh, problem. You know, I set up my router and switches at top level of my house because I was able to run a wire from my router to my home router, Verizon router, to that Cisco router. But then I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta move it down. It's too noisy, so I gotta put it down. But then I'm, when I moved it down, then I was like, okay, I need like a hundred feet cable and I mean stuff like that. I don't, I, I mean, I can't do this. I can't run wires at my house like that. So there was something I was looking for, and it, it was actually at my house, and I figured it out. I was like, oh, why not use this? Bam, solution solved. So if you are in that same situation where you have a router, you need to do setup, and like me, you're in the same situation where you don't want to run any wires, no wiring at all, like, you know, all these wiring from one router to another router, from your home router to another router, so, and you have it like in a basement or somewhere like that, you want to do testing, lab, so follow this video right now. I have Verizon router, right? Um, I'm not directly connected. My Cisco routers are not connected directly over here. They are going to be connected through Wi-Fi. Now, how is that possible? So let me show you how. So I moved my, don't mind this guys. <laughs> so I moved my, you know, the stuff down right here because it was noisy and I just wanted to, when I do recording, I don't want it to be in the same place. So, but then I, do, I don't have any wiring running over here. So I was like, how am I going to deal with this? Because I need an internet connection to be able to work on a router and a switch and do testings and things like that. So this is what I found and I already had this before. So as you guys can see on the bottom right here, it's called Netgear Extender. This is the coolest thing about this because it has one port in there, uh, Ethernet port. So what it does, I mean, it's not made for Cisco stuff, but it's made for like if you have a router upstairs, you can plug this in down, like, you know, basement area and then connect this uh, this guy with your router at home. So it will extend the Wi-Fi, basically. It is for that. So all you have to do is when you get it from, like, market, you just plug this in, plug this port into your laptop, go to the link. It's like a web, it's like a web link. And then it automatically tells you, oh, we found these Wi-Fi uh, device, wh whatever it is. So you just pick your router and then it connects, right? The coolest thing is that it's on the same network. So I don't need to work on two different routers to for my my Cisco router to work. So it's on like it's basically when I connect this ethernet to my Cisco router, it's on the same network. So that's the coolest part of it. So that saved me a lot from wiring, guys. So if you're in the same situation, that's what I'm doing. I have this basically this ethernet right now connected to my router which is the black right there that's the internet connection from my router at home this is interface 0 slash 0 I'm not gonna touch this I'm gonna tell this router that through DHCP go get an IP address so I have internet connection coming through this interface then I'm gonna configure my Cisco router on this interface which is uh, zero slash one interface and this is the interface that I'm going to be controlling everything and doing all the testing meaning that I'm gonna get internet connection from this zero slash zero but on zero slash one I'm going to configure everything all my staff members on the switch when when I configure when they connect right here all of them should get an IP address because I'm going to tell that interface that hey this is the IP addresses you're going to give and the other interface is going to get the internet connection so then I can do my testing or and my staff member can go to internet but it's going to be controlled that's how I basically did my setup so if you're thinking uh, next time when I show the video uh, on the screen recording because I'm not going to show this stuff and I'm going to say oh let's go ahead and configure a router let's name it this is the router so this is the router that I'm talking about and when I say that okay let's configure our router to get internet connection because when you get these routers they're not going to connect right away you need to configure them so I'm going to say okay you know what since we're in a home network we need to connect 0 slash 0 and make it a DHCP so I can get the internet IP address from my router and then I'm going to make the default router this router to connect to my home router and get the internet connection but I'm gonna be using this router for anyone connect to my switch right here meaning if these were my employees like 
30, 40 employees or however many switch I put in there, they're going to be all controlled from that 0 slash 1 interface. Okay, that interface, this one right here, is connected directly to the switch right here. So from now on, when I plug any computer over here, I should get an IP address. And that's something I'm going to show you guys. Now remember, this is not a Cisco engineering course. We're going to do everything in a basic level where we get an internet connection. And then we're going to jump into help this to system administrator type of things. Like, you know, how do you find a MAC address? How do you find do, do this? How do you shut down an interface? How do you turn this on? How do you do some basic troubleshooting so you can start moving on? Now, if you're really interested in Cisco stuff, then you will need to take a Cisco course. Thank you. I just wanted to clear this out because a lot of people get confused um, when they don't see these things. And uh, I just showed you how I set up my Cisco. Thank you, guys.